What's up guys, how's it going? Maskey here and welcome to episode 5 of our Firewatch playthrough. Um, we're on the trail of the two girls. We have spotted some smoke, like a column of smoke, so we're gonna go towards it. Hopefully we will find something. I can't go down there. So, we have to find our way down. Oh. My nose is feeling like all itchy and stuff all of a sudden, so I apologize if there is any sniffling. Now this you can do a ton of walking, you know, like this game is just a ton of walking. Which is like it. So we gotta go that way. I'm kinda going the wrong way. Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Um Uh Sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on, you're from Denver, not <laughs> Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder, I'm from Boulder. Same dish. Alright, so this is the right way. So are you going to let me know what happened that caused this budget increase, or what? I can't believe, I can't you don't believe know. she doesn't. I was a little me. preoccupied <laughs> last summer. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the okay, ground. I guess we have to go back up. Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. What? So that's what they that's did. That's not cool. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. <clears throat> there were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I and mean, what the hell's he going to do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? <laughs> So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were wow. gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. Alright, But hey, there it is. I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down Whoa. again. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel. This is crazy. Here. What is this doing out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in All mind. Right, I guess we're going to go this way. Or not, because there's nothing over here. Why is this path here? Interesting. All right, not going that way. Going this way. Um, I honestly don't know where I'm supposed to go right now. Like, I know where the smoke is. It's right there. It's back there. I don't know how to get around this. Except maybe going this way. That might work. There we go. Problem solved. Problemo solved. Oh, like a giant clearing. We'll go around that. So we're gonna go over. It looks like we're getting close. So, how'd you meet? I met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. Yeah, th that was a short conversation. We meet again, Widowmaker. You haven't beat me yet. You ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah. Here we go. So. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh, a long, this is a long one, man. Nope. Uh. We're almost there. Almost there. Not going to fall this time. We did it. Take that. And we're going to leave the rope this time. I think we just have an abundance of rope. 
for that pack, so we're just gonna leave it there. I don't go down that way, do I? Where's the column of smoke? It's this way. But let me check my map. Let me check the map. Let me check the map. Yeah, okay, we gotta go down. So we just gotta keep going all the way down into the ring of fire. <coughs> And here we go again. We're getting good at this, guys. We're getting really good at this uh, repelling down the mountain thing. This is still the same day. You realize that this is still day two. It's a long day. Day one was way shorter than this. Alright, so I should just have to kind of go around this bend. The smoke should be over there somewhere. I wonder why I can never get like the supply crates open. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Nice. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I did not. I didn't. We did not. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. That's pretty cool. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Cool. So I guess I'm just going to follow this stream, then, that she's talking about. Wow, man, look at this. This game looks so good. It looks so good. I love the way the colors, they just pop, you know? This is amazing. I love this, man. I love games that just have, you know... A unique art style. Looks like we uh, found some sort some of fabric. Cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. <laughs> Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Yeah, man. I don't know which way to go? Trees everywhere. We'll go this way, I think. Kind of go around, you know. I lost the smoke. I, I don't know where it is. All right, let's bring up the map. We're there. We should be like. Right? That's a glitch. That's definitely. You guys see this? That's. De that's. Ignore that, guys. That, that doesn't didn't really happen. Here it is. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have drank four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Stop out the fire. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little <laughs> shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. <laughs> what on earth are you... They're probably in the it's tent, the name right? Of a they gotta be. For girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap. Oh, what about bears? I could have done that. Oh man, a note. I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Let me know what idea. it says. Um, Dear Psycho, 
I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving, and we're going to find the police, or whatever, and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake, and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. Out. Is gross out? You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Interesting. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Leaving, please destroy, gross oh out, gosh, so jail uh, jail. Did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. <laughs> this is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom bad trip. Bad mushroom we trip. Really yeah, that's what it is. They're gone. Well, that creepy There's guy we saw no earlier. Call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Day three, ladies and gentlemen. We're moving on. Day three. Day two is pretty crazy, you know? Uh, let's see what day three has in store with us. I'm glad it's not making me walk all the way back to the uh, tower. Because that would suck. There'd be like a whole other episode of this series, just me walking back from here to there. Because we were literally in like the opposite corner. Looks like we're freaking out, fixing our window. Find boards downstairs to patch the window. Why wouldn't he bring them all with him? Which way are these stairs? This way. Hey, Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you That's asking? Weird. Because I'm horribly superficial. Um. Yeah. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. <laughs> okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now, let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, <laughs> uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh, my God, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting <laughs> scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice. Usually. Oh, okay. I don't have to go but down I again. That's try good. Try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years. Yeah. But um, now you'll put on a, a clean Why? shirt. Yeah. Well, I I have one that I got for Christmas actually. Just um. Do so I have to go down again and get like more buttons, boards? I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. Hmm. Um, a thick beard. I have a thick beard, uh, yeah. A thick beard. Oh. Women have love you beards. Had a beard? For a while, yeah. Alright, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Uh, sure. Don't, don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Um, we have happy eyes. Uh, Thick beard, happy, happy eyes. Thing. Look like Tom yeah, Cruise. Told they look happy. happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Awesome. Happy is good, guys. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You're welcome. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. Seriously, I brought the board up. What is going on? Come on, game. Guys, this isn't good. I 
I know I brought the board up. What is going on? It's like it's not letting. Me, it's like I can't get close enough to it. You know. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. Get a couple more boards. All right. We'll go see if maybe I need to get like another board. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Not liking this. This would suck. Got uh, a system. Oh, I see another board. Oh, jeez. I think what happened was I picked up one, but the game let me place down two. So then the second one, I went back down, picked up the second one. It was like still at zero boards, you know? Pretty sure that's what happened, guys. Yeah, look at that. Problem solved. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Wow, okay. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and uh, I'll give it to you. We have to let her know when we're ready to work. Guys, next episode, we're ready to do some real work. Everything we have done up until now has not been real work. From here on out, everything we do is 100% work. But guys, thank you for watching episode 5 of our Firewatch Let's Play. We're about an hour, over an hour, like an hour and a bit through the game. So we're making good progress. Guys, make sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to be notified for future content. My name is Maskey, and I will see you next time.